Dean Captain Admiral, you're right. And Commodores commanded groups of ships as opposed to captains commanding single ships. I got gotcha. um, So like this, an admiral is like a desk job, but a Commodore is like a field admiral almost. Yes. So okay. they're saying that in comparison to other ranking systems, um, a Commodore would be equivalent to the military brigadier or brigadier general. Or, in the Navy, a rear admiral, lower half. I am not a naval uh, veteran nor an army veteran, so these titles do not mean a lot to These ranks don't mean a lot to me. Um, uh, But uh, I'm sure for those of our listeners who are veterans, they know exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, in in between, basically, Captain and Admiral, you've got a Commodore, and they're in charge of a bunch of ships. Um, So, what I'm looking at here real quick, it sounds like that there aren't any... TGN Commodores ever mentioned I I don't think so It seems that they mostly were mentioned A lot in the original series Okay so let me ask you why bring it back here Just so I can ask that stupid question I mean I don't know I mean I mean I think I think um, Commodores have always existed In the Trek universe I think that maybe they just got away From that particular rank In next gen I I don't know why, Why bring them back here I don't have an answer to that question. Maybe one of our listeners does. If you guys know why they brought back the Commodore. Maybe it's because they wanted to show, like, if if she was underneath the Admiral, but knew more about the Admiral, but calling her Captain would be confusing because she wasn't on a ship. Maybe. That's, you know what? Let's go with that answer. (laughs) (laughs) Because the Admiral is giving her orders. You're right. If she's like, uh, if she's, if they're both Admirals, why would Admiral Clancy be giving her in order like that plus it was like kind of cool that it showed that she knew more than her boss did which means she was part of some kind of secret organization yes so we 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 definitely see that here because um admiral clancy only gives her certain certain parts of the meeting she doesn't tell her everything right we saw the whole meeting but in theory commodore always only knows what the admiral is telling her okay so, you know, they talk about Bruce Maddox and they talk about, you know, the idea that there could be Romulans running secret operations on Earth. And Commodore O says, if that was true, I would know about it. And then you would know about it because I would tell you and then everybody would know about it. Well, I think we could all agree that we all knew right away that Commodore O is a bad guy. We all knew that. Like, it was pretty obvious that she's not on our side here. She ends the call and then well, after she's been given some orders by the Admiral and she calls for this other person, Lieutenant Rizzo, who we're going to meet in a minute here. I have a question. <clears throat> yeah. So do you think that she is pretending to be a Vulcan and she's actually Romulan? Well, here, because okay. Because they don't, be... you know, the, the distrust of Romulans. Why would they let one in the Federation, Starfleet? Yeah, here's the thing. At the end of the episode... Lieutenant Rizzo tells Narek that she has been a useful ally yes. for a long time. If she's an ally, I take that to mean that she's not Romulan. That she's not Romulan, but she's a Romulan sympathizer. Okay. okay. So she could be Vulcan, but she could also be on the Romulan's side. Right. Okay. And then just a little side note here. If you watch The Ready Room, which is the after show hosted by Will Wheaton. Oh, you mean Shut Up, Wesley? Yeah, Shut Up, Wesley. Um, (laughs) Sorry, Will Wheaton, even though you're not listening to this. Sorry, Will Wheaton. That's just what I'm going to call your show. There is an older episode that says that the show, at least in this episode, does not give explicit indication that she's a Romulan or a Vulcan, Mm -hmm. but that the makeup they're saying is Romulan makeup like she's made to look more like a Romulan but it doesn't mean she is a Romulan okay or it could be the other way around it could be that she is a Romulan but she was an early defector it could be absolutely and and she's kind of like you know like kind of try to brush off that Romulan side at least on the on on the appearance wise I mean deep down inside you obviously know she's part of this organization Mm -hmm. but but maybe you know I mean you know, we saw obviously the defector episode of the TGN. We saw that there are people that that wanted to escape the Rom in a way of life, and mm-hmm. obviously the Federation is is going to take those people in. I don't know how much 
clearance they're going to give them and how much access to things and make them a Commodore. Uh, that sounds a little yeah, if, progressive. If she's, if she's a Romulan, um, then I, then if she's a Romulan, then she's pretending to be Vulcan. Because there's no way, like you said, Stephen, there's no way Starfleet would let a Romulan who is not even part of the Federation. And if you're not part of the Federation and you want to join Starfleet, you need a letter of recommendation from a serving captain Mm -hmm. basically saying, yes, I know this person is not – I I know this person is not part of the Federation, but I think that there are – they – are good enough to go to Starfleet and I think that they would be like an asset to include them in Starfleet. So I I just don't see Starfleet letting a Romulan become a Commodore. I I just, again, if she is a Romulan, then she's pretending to be Vulcan. And if she's a Vulcan, then she's a Romulan sympathizer. Gotcha. That's my, that's my take on it. I mean, for what it's worth, that's my two cents. Because, uh, you know, we know that the Lieutenant Rizzo, (laughs) I just think of Greece. Me yeah. too. I thought of Rizzo from Greece. <laughs> the Lieutenant Rizzo, that she is Romulan because, you know, it's kind of like, oh, she must be, you know, since they have that super quick, you know, surgical procedures. Where right. They can change you. Often yeah, they can change you to another species uh, and then change you back and, you know, no scarring or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, even even Narek says to her that she looks weird with rounded Round ears. ears. Yeah. Right? So we know that she, and, you know, spoilers for the end of the episode, even though we're spoiling everything, mm-hmm. she does call him baby brother. Yeah. So, I mean, she is Romulan. Yeah. So, yeah. alrighty. So, jumping back to Ch- Chateau Picard, Laris is furious. She, she drops a tray with teacups and she's asked Picard if he's got dementia because he wants to go into space. He's basically saying, you know, this is Data's daughter. I failed her. There's a twin out there. I can't just sit at home worrying about the spittle bugs on the pinos. I have to get mm-hmm. out there and I have to do something about it. The first time, the first time I watched this, I when she asked if he had dementia, I was like, is that just where she's going because... Because she, the doctor came by, and then he's been acting kind of weird. Like, is that why she asked that? It was just, no, it was just her sort of being mean. She's like, are you crazy? She wants a real, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's really (laughs) what it was. (laughs) And then, uh, you know, Jabon says to Picard, well, you know, if you're going to go after this tall Shiar thing, you have to bring us with you because we're, you know, we can help you fight the tall Shiar. And Laris is like, we ain't going nowhere. We're all staying right here where it's safe. <laughs> and then and Picard is like, well, this is important. And and I love how Laris is so sarcastic. She's like, oh, well, if it's important to Jean-Luc Picard, then it must be important to the whole galaxy. And then she tells Picard, take this one with you so you could die together. <laughs> Meeting her husband, Jabon. Just hilarious. Just take, I mean, you know that. Take my that, husband, you please. Know, yeah, take my husband, please. Like, you know that she loves she loves Picard. She's worried about him, which is why she's acting the way that she's acting. And of course, Shabon's like, you know that she cares about you, right? Because that's why she's going crazy. And Picard's like, I've got to do this. And he he tells Shabon, you know, you stay here with the grapes. They need more protecting than I do. You know, there's going to be a harvest in two months. And, you know, so then Jabon says, well, you're going to need help. And here he, he mentions three former crewmates of Picard what about Riker Worf or LaForge and Picard's like if I ask them they'll do it because they're loyal to me but I don't want to make them risk their lives I'm not going to ask them he needs to ask somebody who basically has nothing to lose and doesn't really care about him that much and he says I've already made the call so if anyone's reading the tie-in comic the three issue uh, Picard series um, there is a lot of tie in between these characters so d- definitely the third issue is out so you can read the completed three issue mini series I think that there will be more issues coming out later but for now those three comics do they are a prequel to this series they will tie in so if you read the third comic you'll know that hearing somebody's name mentioned in that um, list that Jabon just said 
confirms that they're okay. I know that's a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit of a teaser there, but um, are I didn't you trying want to not to spoil away. it? I'm trying not to spoil. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying not to spoil gotcha. everything. Um, but yeah, if if you have a chance to read those three issues, um, they are pretty darn good. Back to the Commodore's office. She is replaying once again the security footage from the rooftop when Lieutenant Rizzo comes in. And we know that this footage has been scrubbed. There apparently is a reflection of disruptor fire in one of the handrails, which was not caught by the team. So the Commodore kind of recaps her conversation with the Admiral, but adds that Picard knew the name of the Jat Vash and that he tried to get a ship and a crew from Starfleet. Now, the Admiral didn't tell her any of that, but she knew it. And when Lieutenant Rizzo is like, well, how did you know that? Admiral says, uh, excuse me, the, the Commodore says, don't insult me. So clearly, she's bugging her office in some way. Yeah. She knows exactly what's going on in there for her to have all those extra details. I mean, maybe she's psychic. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, if she's Vulcan, she is uh, telepathic. A but, bit. you know, yeah. they, there, are, there are limits to Vulcan telepathy. Right. But <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, she's half Vulcan and half Beta Set. There, oh, there you go. That clears the whole thing up. She's half Vulcan, half Beta Set. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> we solved it, everybody. <laughs> uh, that's why we can't figure out if she's if she's Vulcan or Romulan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so th- there is some conversation here between the two about what to do about Picard, and that uh, the Commodore says, "I'll take care of Picard if and when the the need arises, because you're too impatient." And this is where we kind of get confirmation that the lieutenant was in charge of that kidnapping attempt of Dodge. It didn't go right, and then they ended up destroying. And she she says you 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 destroyed the thing before it could be interrogated. This definitely does seem to confirm that Dodge is dead, um, and not on purpose. It's not like they set out to kill her, but the mission went wrong. And now Dodge is dead and they cannot uh, get any information out of her. Which is disappointing again. I, I would have liked her to still be alive, but, but it's okay. So coming down to the end of the episode here, uh, we see Picard um, get dropped off by an Uber, I guess. <laughs> because uh, Raffi <laughs> does call him. <laughs> he takes an Uber to I her said, part of the... I said Picard Ubers to Raffi. <laughs> <laughs> and bribes her with wine. There you go. I do like that he brings a bottle of wine. She tells him, get back in that taxi, go back to wherever you came from. You have nothing to tell me that I want to hear. I like how he does start to leave, but then drops the whole, there are Romulan operatives on Earth. And she asks him, is that the 86? And he kind of jiggles it <laughs> playfully. And she's like, ah, come here. She, um, she pours out whatever she's got in her yes. cup. So she can drink the wine. Yes, <laughs> I'm. I'm looking forward to next episode where I. It seems like we're going to get a whole lot more about mm-hmm. her. Um, definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, she um, seems like she's going to be a, a good match for you know how mm-hmm. Picard's like so like more calm and like kind of thing, and she's yeah. just going to be like really sassy, and no wonder they butt heads. Or whatever happened. Does, uh, do you find out what happened yeah. between them in the comic? Because I got it. And well, I was I haven't read I was, it. <laughs> in, in the first. Well, in in the first issue, um, she's his first officer, mm-hmm. and he's he's an admiral, and she's his first officer, and she keeps calling him JL for Jean Luc, and 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 he's like, "Are you ever going to call me admiral?" And she's like, "Nope." <laughs> she calls him JL, That's which amazing. just makes me laugh. Who in their right mind calls Captain Picard JL? Oh, like that's just it. <laughs> It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna like her a lot, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I and I like this actor. I like Michelle. Mm-hmm. She's um she's been around forever taking really interesting parts and mm-hmm. I, I think she's gonna do really well here. She reminds me of the uh, first officer from Firefly. Uh, I have to admit, I I'm not a huge Firefly fan, so uh, okay. I haven't seen a lot of it. Which which character is that? She's 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 like the number number two to the captain. Like oh, she's okay. just she just like she, 
you know, the captain's in charge of 